conspiracies. Hi, girlies! Welcome back to Conspiracy, the podcast that we're gonna be talking about conspiracy theory, like sisters. Today we're talking about real place, and this place is nowhere else but. Egypt. Who built the Pyramid of Egypt? The connections of Egypt with the existence of alien. The Pyramid of Egypt is in a great alignment than any structures on Earth. It's very close to the true north. The cardinal point is not only accurate, but the placement seems intentional as well. The technology or thoughts put in the building of pyramid is two times more than any other ancient civilization. Scientists discover that the Great Pyramid of Egypt, the coordinate is equal to the speed of light. That is crazy. How can something? Has exactly the same decimals number with everything yes. else. Yeah, and also matches directly with the longitude and latitude of the equator, the circumference of the equator, the numbers of days in a year. How does such an ancient civilization has the capability to build such an amazing structure? These ancient civilizations gained the knowledge to build these structures from so-called God. Maybe the gods that ancient civilization worship. Could potentially be an extraterrestrial being. So there are paintings that shows that the Egyptians have a deep understanding about astrology. Oldest ancient writings called the Hermetics. Hermetics is basically hieroglyphics used to communicate religious uh, information. Religious. The text didn't only guide the pharaoh to the afterlife; they actually provided instructions on how the pharaohs. Could travel to the other world. The gods used to roam around and mm -hmm. live with live with the people of Egypt. So maybe there are actually someone from different planets. What are you saying about dung beetles? So What's up with it? basically, it follows the light direction of the Milky Way, right? Uh -huh. And in the past, uh -huh. the Egypt civilizations worshipped uh, this particular dung beetle and scarab as gods. So ancient Egypt civilization even had a statue for this particular dung beetle and named it the Egyptian god Capri. Just like how the scarab moved the dung. <laughs> The Egyptian compare the dung to the sun. I think it's understandable why people think that the Pyramid of Giza is built by aliens. Yeah, because it's it's impossible. People think that it is impossible for a human being in the ancient time to be able to build something that huge and that tall. Pyramid Giza, nothing. No painting to describe where it came from. Uh. No body of the pharaohs. Or no treasure. Nothing. This structure is potentially one of the power plants used to power something. Potentially a UFO. Anyway, it's just kind of a deep root racism towards ancient people. There is no way people in the ancient are smart. The the explanation of aliens building it are just more believable. It is not slaves who are building the pyramid. At the very foundation of mm. the Pyramid of Giza. They found the graffiti. All the workers are separated into gangs. Yeah, and they have names for all the gangs. So people who are not fed well, people who are not happy with their life, they probably do not think about their gang names. Archaeologists, they think um, pyramids are uh, built up. And there are two theories. One says the limestone is over there, and another one says quite far away. There are also two theories of how they actually transported. Some says that people using manpowers dragging. There are also one person pouring water, and there are also another theory that actually they use river nile how do they get these stones onto the top archaeologists suggest that they probably use rap they can use this simple easy technology to build pyramid of giza old pyramid experiment mm -hmm. which they recreate the pyramid the way that it the egyptian made it a thousand years years ago mm -hmm. to prove that with the simple technology can the humankind build the pyramid, pyramid. and it could it does work what do you but mean still, alien doesn't exist? This guy standing at stand if it's standing with you, you the whole show. I mean I, I look mean, at their face. I mean I <laughs> believe I believe aliens do exist. But My I do not believe them. I mean yeah. Well Say hi. Say hi. Hi. Antonio. Antonio. Antonio, Antonio. and this is Thomas. Uh Thomas. Thomas come. Thomas. No! <laughs> Yeah, so I mean like I mean like I'm not saying that I do not believe in aliens. I do think that there's probably something out there in the universe. We are probably not alone. Yeah, but, but I mean, don't be scary we're alone though. But I mean like but I mean like but I mean like I do not think they are the one building the pyramid of Egypt. Okay. I feel like they don't care. I feel like I mean why would they just teach I us like I mean why would they just teach us how to do stuff? I feel like they, they are not even yeah. living here. So I feel they like, can I feel like, charge their spacecraft. No, I feel like dude, <laughs> I feel like pyramid. I feel like they wouldn't want they would if there's a actually aliens, I feel like they wouldn't want to waste their resources and On drive us. by like million years of light just to come and build Pyramid. Pyramids for Khufu and Titi. 
you know? Right, right. Yeah. Right. So I mean, I mean, it doesn't really make sense for aliens to do stuff okay, like that. Okay, go back to the moon. <laughs> go back to the moon. <laughs> well, there's no sign of living creatures in the moon, though. But we will think they are there because we would like our Antonio and Thomas to live by the moon. <laughs> so as said earlier, I believe that we are not alone in the universe. I mean, like, come on. The universe is super large, uh, enormous. Yeah. How are we? How are we saying that we are alone in the universe? That's like just, that just doesn't really make sense. Or you're just lonely. Or I'm just lonely. Maybe I do. <laughs> Maybe I lonely. am. <laughs> I mean, we are not built to be alone anyway. Yeah. We are Homo sapiens. We are supposed to yeah, be. Yeah, we're social groups. animals. We're social animals. So yeah. So anyway, let's not talk about human being now. Let's talk about something outside of the universe i mean outside of this world so um you know people are always wonders like what out there because like we started to believe that we are not the only special being in this universe that has the life and everything so we believe that um there are probably some kind of planets out there that do have some kind of living creatures but until now until this day there is no one evidence not even a single evidence that shows that there are actually life outside of the earth so but still scientists are still trying and we would like to know if there is actually any kind of um life outside of the earth i feel like to be honest i feel like there's definitely life outside of the earth but i feel like the reason why we still haven't discovered it yet because we still don't have the technologies to mm -hmm. go that far mm -hmm. I yeah feel like because only, it's quite we, far. so far we only discover a nearby area mm -hmm. and the the, the most the at most things we can do is just basically using a super super telescope mm -hmm. to zoom into uh, planets like X E three like the weird planets with weird names. Yeah. But we're not we're not able to visit it yet. Yeah, so we can exactly. just assume. So yeah, the technology is not is not developed enough for us to actually go out of space and to just like go and visit like all of the solar systems outside of this solar system. So the formula thingy. What is so the formula? formula. So it is called Drake Equation, so you know, it is formulated by um, the U.S. astrophysicist mm -hmm. named Frank Drake mm -hmm. and he was trying to find life outside of the Earth. Mm -hmm. So the equation is... Like, we will we'll have put, the pictures. Yeah, we'll put the picture here. It is the equation, but the thing is, scientists and everyone just can't find the answer yeah i mean like yet. i mean like i know about this formula as well because this formula is uh is basically things that made up life like things that made up life and then and then they use it to calculate um the possible probability uh, of yeah, finding probab yeah. life outside of earth yeah and um and um i also look into it and i find out that um according to drake mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. according to drake he says that the condition that is at the time the, that he thought that is appropriate for 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 the space that might have some kind of um, living things or basically mm. there must be some sort of energy and yeah. with this sort of energy um, the scientists just try to find it um, in a hotter kind of planets because like in a colder kind of planet they're not that much energy yeah. therefore they try to find in a hotter um, hotter um, planet which is basically the stars and so they started try to find the appropriate star first. They try to find something that is similar to our sun because with the sun that is too big, too enormous, but have a very short lifespan, then it means that the life that is going to be around that area will not be able to live Last that long, long to be able to develop and mm. to evolve. And and if it's too long, if if the lifespan is too long, but then the amount of energy is not spreading too much, then then there is no much source of energy for 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 living things to be able to evolve as well. And so therefore, they're trying to find something like our sun that is appropriate amount of lifespan and the appropriate of the appropriate amount of like energy spreading to mm. the world. And mm. they said that there must be also home planet beside the star mm. i mean people says that maybe they might be able to create some sort of energy and they might be able to create some sort of living things in the stars but the scientists suggest that it's it, there's very low possibilities so imagine living in the sun yeah because like it's very it's hot. hot it's very hot it's and energy saturated yeah it's very hot and also like the situations in the sun because it's very hot therefore the situations there mm. change very abruptly mm. which 
means that they cannot really have a very stable uh, molecules to the point that they can actually evolve into uh, living things. Therefore, they're trying to find a home planet around that star mm. in order to find uh, that is not too hot. Yeah, and also they're trying to find something that's rock based because mm. these rock based are basically carbon. You said it, carbon based. No, uh, the rock base in my definition, uh, according to what I research, is that the the ground, uh, the the ground or the surfaces of the planet is rock based. Yeah, I mean like carbon. Actually, one thing is that our human body and everything on Earth, all substances are consist of carbon base. Carbon base. The reason why he tried to find, I mean, I mean, so after you find the planet, right? It should be carbon base because um, because carbon is actually in the periodic table, right? Yeah. The carbon is in the fourth in the fourth row of the periodic mm. table. <sighs> so okay, that's how you learn science. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So so yeah. So basically, carbon is in the fourth row of the of the periodic table, and the reason why it should be in the fourth row, mm. it 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 is not should, but like it's supposed to be somewhere there, is because in the fourth row, it is they have four arms. So these carbons can um, connect to the other and mm. also like merge and like do some kind of chemical rea reaction with the other. Um, uh, with the other substances that is in the other rows because they have like four arms and they can like connect because then they can create some kind of like a more complex structure no, so basically it's just so it's basically just yeah. like that so because like human bodies are very complex right mm -hmm. in order for some living thing in order for living thing not only human body but also cells also bacteria are also very complex mm. therefore in order to create this um, complex structure they need to have more than one substance therefore mm. it is easier to be carbon based because carbon is in the fourth uh. it's easier to merge with the other uh, ah so that's so that's, that's the why. that's the idea be behind it and yeah? another thing is that because you said that living things are like most of the living things like humans are uh, carbon based right yeah so carbon based are physical elements so it's yeah. tangible something you can touch yeah. So that is why they need to live in an environment that is rock based. So uh -huh. the, the floor is rock. Uh -huh. Because carbon based is a physical form. So mm -hmm. physical form needs to be able to touch other physical form to form life. Uh -huh. So for example, you have a feet. Feet is a physical form. It's uh -huh. carbon based. You need to be able to touch a, the ground, right? Because like, um, for example, if a uh, human leave, live in Venus or uh, Venus or other planet that is liquid based or gas based, mm -hmm. But we're still in our uh, our carbon Physic, form, yeah. our physical form. We then, basically have to float around. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. And how will we be able to live? We yeah, float around. But but scientists also suggest that maybe it's not carbon based, but it's something based, something else based. We uh -huh. we we will never uh -huh. know. But but because the reason why they they think that is that is it it is probably a carbon base is because it's easier to merge with the other stuff, mm -hmm. and that it could create even more complex structure that could leads to the evolve of like hum uh, of like um living things life. yeah mm -hmm. of life exactly and also they also said that not only the carbon base but also there needs to have like a substance that delivers thing in the body within which human body is basically h2o or water, yeah, uh -huh. water. so mm. for, for us we have water as like substance that helps so deliver so thing water is 70 percent of the human body I'm yeah sure. like bloods bloods uh -huh. are also Blood like are also like yeah, uh, has to, yeah, yeah. Those are basically those are basically things that deliver stuff inside our body, mm -hmm. and it could be some gases as well. But it is hard for us to imagine because like we live on Earth and we we see only like human bodies and True. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, and also he says that I mean I listened to this in the um, Dai Dai Luan Luan Physik from the Stand Up Podcast. Bilingual. Okay. <laughs> from the stand-up podcast and he explained that also the for the water water is a substance that's very interesting mm -hmm. because water is the only liquid that when it's frozen it does it's not solid. it's oh. yeah it's solid and it does not just go vroom like this huh. it just go vroom so it doesn't shrink but it expands mm -hmm. like for example when you put water into the freezer it could expand to the point that the water the the bottle bottle can just like break yeah yeah and with that with that um ability of water mm. it helps earth back in the days when when it was just like when it was just like water right because water got frozen and when it frozen it does not sh it dot is that not shrink and then goes down and then but you understand what i mean it expands like it, it expands expand. yeah, yeah. so when it expands it creates a thin layer of ice on the surface ah. therefore it means that living things can still can still live under the water Mm. Because there are space for it, but if oh yeah, it expands. Imagine, uh. imagine it's a liquid that shrink. 
everything will be frozen and nothing will survive. So basically, uh. like we can see sharks, like bodies being frozen. Yeah. We can see octopus. Yeah. Uh, let me go out of topic a little bit. Uh -huh. So if you said that okay, humans, we we uh, we use liquid. So whether it's hemoglobin, which is blood, mm -hmm. or we uses H two or water mm -hmm. to basically like. Uh, transport nutrients mm -hmm. and everything around mm -hmm. uh, our physical form or body. Mm -hmm. What do you think these Thomas and what is his name again? Antonio. Antonio. What What do you think their blood is? What color is their blood? I don't know. Maybe blue. I don't know because like also because our our skin tone doesn't match our blood color though. Yeah, true. I mean, what does that? They oh, don't yeah. even have blood. Uh, I mean, they they're only transparent. They, see, they are air based. They're I air told they're air based. They're actually, based. we they don't do not even have need, liquid. We don't actually need scientific proof anymore. Yeah, we have them. This we is have the them. evidence. This today. is evidence. So yeah. So but he but he also said that with the liquid that could be transparent. It it it, sh it I mean it can be something else outside of water as well. Like for mm. example, it could be alcohol. It could be something else as well. So but because it's alcohol? hard, oh it, it's hard for us to imagine. Right? Yeah. yeah. Yes, yes. Also, like when we talk about carbon based, right? It could be something else apart from carbon based. It could be silicone, which is under, right under the carbon base in the fourth periodic table as well. So this silicone Insert can image. also, this silicones, this silicones can also merge with a lot of other substances as well. So it means that the aliens can be in silicone form. Honestly, I'm prepared for like alien discussion, but I'm not, not prepared for scientific discussion. Girl, I'm stoning out, okay? Oh, come on, like, I mean, out. I mean, these are so interesting, aren't it? I mean, yeah, I mean, so... It's, it's interesting, but I'm stoning out, okay? Yeah. Anyways, so, so let's go. But, but, okay, that's it. That's our, all the things that are the checklist of all the scientists to find out mm. which planet is appropriate for living things. As I said earlier, be rock. It could be rock. It could be silicon. It could be carbon based. It could be water. It could be heliums. It could be um, some kind of thing. So basically, any anything in the because, table. Because we 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 are try we are trying to get all the possibilities in. Mm -hmm. and, but also, he mentioned that one thing that is going to be the hardest thing is that even as human beings, we do not know how come we get the first living thing on Earth. Yet. Oh yeah, I, I yeah. read about that as well. So basically, I feel like uh, scientists at first they speculate that the first organism on Earth is either fungus or either a form of bacteria. Uh -huh. so but actually, they're not even sure if bacteria and fungus is actually the first living yeah. things. There may be more smaller elements yeah. or a uh, first, 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 first living organism. Because we all know that uh, we are reproduced through our DNAs and also yeah. like things from our parents and stuff. But like with the first thing, first living thing on earth, it is really hard to identify what exactly is it, right? Mm -hmm. What exactly is and how it actually happened. Because like in scientists now, we have a lot of components that actually made up living things, but scientists cannot even create any living thing like like this. They cannot do that yet, even on in labs. Therefore, they, they are not even sure what is the exactly the right composition Wait. of things or but like you, what is the right but atmosphere. But you know, right, that, that even though science are not able to create life, recreate life, like from zero, from, from scratch, zero, yeah. but they actually can create life from existing cells like uh, fossils. Yeah, they could. But the thing is, um, now we are talking about the condition that actually that actually helps scientists to find out where exactly on the universe that could be potential planet Girl, for any aliens. We only explore five percent of the ocean. Exactly. And, like, we expect to find aliens. Yeah, I mean, I mean, this is sad. Though, but. yeah, I mean, <laughs> maybe true. aliens is in the ocean. Yeah, actually, there's some uh, conspiracy theories that I wouldn't go too far. Um, <laughs> that aliens are actually the core of the Earth under the ocean. Yeah, someone says yeah. they're in the North Pole. I'm sad. Yeah. <laughs> someone. Yeah, Why someone would they go there? I mean, Santa Claus. You, will you go there? Yes. Yeah, it, wait, it that, answered. It answered. That, wait, he answered? It just answered, yeah. Why do you sound like Xing Xing though? <laughs> IDK, I don't know. Okay. okay, anyway. So, you said that because we explore mm. only 5% of the sea, right? And then, mm. and then it's really hard for us to actually explore the universe. Therefore, some people actually believe that the aliens are the ones finding us already. Mm. And they're so, like, oh my god, peasant. Bye. No, no, they're actually like they're they're actually people who actually saw them. So these are actually like Ooh. unexplained Spill. stories on Earth. Spill. So people actually see say that they actually saw UFO. Mm. So they are they are pilot in the U.S. Army, okay? And he once flew the plane, and then he find like a very un 
identifiable to uh, flying object or basically uh -huh. UFO, which they already changed the name, but I don't know the terms that they're using right now. But UFO is basically unidentified flying objects. Okay, so it doesn't necessarily mean that they are basically the 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 planes of the aliens. Unidentified flying object. UFO stands for unidentified flying object. Yes. yes. Oh my god. They already yes. changed. I never knew that before. Yeah. The reason why they changed, they changed the terms to the other stuff is because wait. everyone associates UFO with aliens. Wait, wait, when, wait. In, when in reality, it's not necessarily aliens. So okay? at first, what does it stand for? UFO, what does it stand for? Unidentified flying object. Oh, that's it? That's yeah. it. And so that's oh. why... But then everyone... UFO. Oh. But then everyone associated with aliens. Therefore, they changed the term to something else, which I don't remember. Okay? So it's not UFO anymore. Then. Yeah, they don't try to say UFO flying anymore. Flying plate. I don't joking. know. Yeah, joking. anyway. But I mean, but I mean, if you say UFO, then people will think of like, you know, UFO of the aliens. You understand? Like, yeah. Mm. Like the plane of the aliens. Mm. Like rockets of the aliens. Okay. So, um... Let's get back to the story. The air pilots of the USM, uh, uh, US Army, uh, he flew the plane and then he find a UFO. And he was like, what exactly is that? He get back, he reported back. No, they actually find them in the radar. Mm. Very, very fast. And he saw that um, the UFO was actually like 50,000 feet above the ground. And then in a split second, it goes down to 50 feet. In just a split second. The pilot was like, what is this? Like, what is this? I can't comprehend it. Boston he get back threat. He get yeah. back to the port and then get like a weapons to his plane and go and see it again. And then what he saw is that he saw the the UFO like kind of laying on the on the on the on the ocean the surface. Girl's resting. The girl some um hot girl summer. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, laying on the surface of the ocean, okay? And then he saw some kind of like a very small uh, white tubes flying around that UFO uh -huh. like like it was guarding it. Uh -huh. And then he saw it and he was like, what exactly is that, right? Like he's a pilot, he's like, what is that? What is that? And then and then he says that after after the UFO, after the UFO like kind of noticed that he, he saw it, therefore it just like goes up like this and then vroom, in a split second and disappear. disappear. It, it disappear. Itself. Yeah. It did itself it did exactly, itself. and so yeah. this pilot goes back to the po to the to the to the base again and get the infrared camera mm. to get the tubes. You well, know that the, guy is so dedicated. The, yeah, I mean to to get the the white tubes right, and he goes fly again and then he catch it on cameras. What is it? But the thing is, where is the picture? But the thing is, it's it's just like a small tube, and then the thing is. The infrared cameras are supposed to show where the energy are from, right? Mm -hmm. Are supposed to show where the hi the heat are, where the energy are getting from. If you film a uh, if you film an airplane, you will see that there are kind of energy floating out to see the the heat and mm. stuff. But in that particular tube, they can't find anything. Like they Nothing. can't find the heat, so it's in so it's in gray instead of red. Uh -huh. But the thing is, how can they fly? That's uh, that's the thing that is from the ex um, um, pilot, and there's another story that uh, in 1994, in a Zimbabwe in aerial school in a school, everyone in the school claimed that they saw UFO landing on their school um, Lucky. yard. School like yard a mass and then hallucination. No idea. They have uh, what is it? What is the medical condition? Zinc psychophonia or something i don't even know like i don't even know what this i forgot yeah anyway so like basically this ufo just like land on the schoolyard and then there's like aliens coming out huh yeah there are aliens coming aliens? out and then these aliens are just like saying things to the students they get the they get the stu they get the children psychologist go and talk to the students and ask like what's up with the situation mm -hmm. every single student says exactly the same thing and when they ask them to draw like what the man that come out of the UFO look like and what the UFO look like everyone draw exactly the same kind of object with the same kind of like Antonio like Antonio exactly so, so Antonio basically just the, escaped. the alien and the students see look exactly like the look aliens, exactly like the this. aliens in the movie <laughs> yeah they says that they have like big eyes going up like this and they also ask what the alien says to people mm. the student says they did not say it out of word they use telepathy uh, they use telepathy goes directly to the students and the student says that me. what a the alien says to them is that this says that we are cutting trees we are ruining the environment and this says that we should not do stuff wait like is this that. a short movie for environmental so, protection I have no promotion? idea but this this is something this that is they suspicious. found out. Yeah. Why? Why would alien care about our Earth? 
I that has or maybe or maybe or maybe alien they live longer than us maybe their lifespan is like 500 years and they see mass destructions of like planets close by because they're similar civilizations like humans destroying the the planet the they live in and they saw the end what the end of the end of those civilizations mm-hmm. so they're trying to warn us like, like for example in, trees. like in Garden of the Galaxies right uh, oh you're going back to Marvel <laughs> oh wait Groot is Groot here with us yeah. yeah so like so like I'm just saying that these are unexplained stories and people believe that these are true story of how aliens are just mm-hmm. like visiting worlds with their UFOs and warning us about environment but it's true <laughs> though what the alien says is true so please protect the environment because we need to live here for ages Ever. okay look at the Forever. audience there as well okay i'm looking at you too you look i'm looking at you too please take care Save of the environment the just like what the alien says okay cool just like what antonio is okay so nada can you because you talk you talk about ufo for a while right yeah which i just realized that it's called i didn't i what is it called? Identify, identify flying, flying objects. objects. So, like, you talk about the two experience that people actually saw an alien. Yeah. Saying hi to them, like, hello. Yeah, hello. So, basically, what is the... Okay, you, you, you give me a brief dis- uh, description of what the alien that the uh, children saw. What do, what do the UFO look like when they saw it? They said that it looks like a flying plate. <laughs> okay, well, like flying plate. Wait, like wait. So right now, like guys, classic, this like is a classic UFO. UFO. The the experience does not only sound like a promotional advertisement, a creative promotional advertisement for conserving nature, but everything seems to look like what the movies depict to us since 18th century. True. The flying plate and Thomas. Yeah, and actually, like according to scientists, they says that the the reason why the reason why a um, Antonio looks like this. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, the reason why Anthony or aliens look like this is because we have the pictures of like, okay, he, um, aliens should probably have two arms and th- two legs mm-hmm. because they are they actually look like us, mm-hmm. and probably like they have two 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 nose. What is it called? It doesn't two, even have a nose. No- it has nostrils. Nostrils, like nostrils, a- nostrils, and they probably have a mouth why and also this eyes. Why does guy have a nose? Why does not have a nose? They're maybe they're from different planets. Yeah, probably yeah. because they're also in different um, colors Color. as well. Oh so God. yeah, so I mean, like that's actually like how we understand aliens because that's how we understand how human body work, and therefore we think of aliens like this. That's what the scientist says. Mm-hmm. And also, um, there's also actually movies that that shows us that aliens come in time comes in form of gas, but it's really it's too hard for people to understand the concept. Therefore, they change back to these kind of things. So basically, um, based on your description, and you said that you have always like a plate. So basically, it's like a de- uh, de- description that we saw often in movies and sci-fi movies since the earliest time, like 18th centuries. Mm-hmm. However, a lot of scientists actually, not only scientists from NASA, because you know scientists, they always agree with each other. They're trying to find the rightest answer, so they exactly. always fight. They always like, yeah. they always have, they always fight. They always gang up, like the guys in the, uh, ruling the pyramid. <laughs> so basically. They're, they're like fighting. They're like, no, we don't believe that the UFO or unidentified flying object is act- actually a clear representation or a clear evidence that alien mm. actually exists. Uh-huh. Because most of the time, if you look at all the pictures in Google, all the pictures in the sources, or even on the news, it looks like a uh, plate. Yeah, yeah, it looks like it a plate. It looks the plate. same. It looks the same. So scientists are like, maybe all the pictures are not clear representation that aliens actually exist because it's based on human imagination. Yeah. And there there, there has been a scandal in the past as well in NASA. Scandal. Like, uh, remember the scandal in the uh, famous uh, medical website? What is it called? Uh, Lancet Gate. Lancet Gate. If you guys know, go search by yourself, but if you guys learn about Lancet Gate, you will, all, you will know that no matter how... No matter how what? No matter how <laughs> reliable and reliable. professional a source is, doesn't mean the information they publish is always correct. True. Like, I mean, even though we don't look reliable, but maybe our information is more reliable than Oxford. Yeah. So, you you know, sometimes things can surprise you, okay? So if you look <laughs> at the Lancet Gate situation where the medical... The most famous website for medicine published the wrong information. You can understand the scandals of NASA where they published a Photoshop pictures. They Mm. they were uh, basically misunderstanding communications between the media team and the scientist team, and they ended up tricking people. Not and uh, they don't 
actually want to trick people, intentionally tricking people. Mm -hmm. So that is why it created stirs like the sisters, uh, the si the sisters, the scientist sisters, S plus S equals scientist sisters. Uh -huh. They were fighting. They were like, no, no. no. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I don't. We don't believe that the uh, existence of UFO or the pictures that we see in NASA, the pictures we see in the internet or other reliable websites are actually accurate depiction of aliens. Mm -hmm. They said that we need to study deep deeper into the UFO. We need to study deeper because it looks too much like the movie's imagination. Mm -hmm. And second thing is that they don't believe until they actually see one. Mm -hmm. They will not believe the images because right. We, you have to admit that right now we have. The Photoshop. Yeah. And the Photoshop is getting better and better. Yeah. True. Every day. So it means that so it means that you are saying that like the news that NASA just accept that UFO is real and they just chose like the the, 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 the what is it called? Like aliens that so they chose the picture of the aliens are not really yeah, quite true, right? Yeah, um actually when NASA shows, you know, in the conference, the latest conference where they show like a body of Tom and Bobby. Mm -hmm. They show uh Tom and Bobby, two mm -hmm. aliens sleeping. Mm -hmm. Actually, people like are at, yeah. Okay, put him back. <laughs> actually, he's actually. Everybody's actually shook. Everybody's shook not because they're surprised that the government found the aliens are already, but they're shook and surprised because it looks fake. It looks yeah. like a cake. It looks like is a this, cake. Is this like is this my birthday cake? Is you this know, made like, from there's, cake? There's also a am trend. I, am where, I made from where cake? Where the cakes are everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah am yeah, I made yeah. from cake? Maybe we're made from cake. Wait, we actually have to do conspiracies on that. Are we made from <laughs> cake? Oh, Wait, from yeah, cake. and everybody's shook. Even w even when I look at the pictures shown by NASA, even though it's NASA, uh, like NASA, published it, right? yeah. yeah, NASA published it, or even NASA, like uh, what is it called, like a uh, water water print watermark uh -huh. on the picture. I still yeah. don't believe it. It looked too movie. Yeah, like, you were like the audacity to trick us. Like audacity. What what are you trying to hide? Like. What are you trying to hide? Like, show me the real deal, okay? Mm -hmm. Even if they don't have eyes or their eyes splurge out, just show me the real deal. Why you wanna like let me see a cake with alien face on it? You know. Mm -hmm. So basically, a lot of arguments after the NASA conference, people are fighting about the UFO uh, picture scandal. Uh -huh. People are fighting mm -hmm. about the cake, the alien cake scandal. Alien cake. The scientists are like, this can't be it. This yeah. can't be it. I don't graduate from Princeton just to be tricked by you, NASA. You know, a lot of uh -huh. a lot of people are questioning. Yeah, uh, the images. Okay. Uh -huh. But okay. Coming back to the UFO. Say, I'm sorry, NASA. I don't mean to attack you. Okay, I'm just saying that your pictures look like cake. But anyways, we're don't moving on. Don't sue us. Don't okay? sue us. Don't sue us. We're small craters. We don't have money. Look at our scene. We're, we're small craters. Okay, we we need money. Okay, so basically, um, I'm going to move on to the other theory. Is why why we're not able to find uh the alien yet. So mm -hmm. one of the theory um, which is related to the Frank Drake equation is called the great filter. Mm -hmm. So filter, so you all know filter filtration systems, filtering out things, you know, that we don't need or filtering out particles. Uh -huh. So the great filter is basically the idea or theory developed by a scientist or theory that says that um, alien uh, doesn't survive the mass extinction uh -huh. or doesn't survive the mass extinctions or like asteroids or basically certain chaotic situations that happen in the galaxy or the universe that's why they're already extinct like dinosaurs yeah they, so basically the survive the survival you have you ever heard the term the survival of the fittest mm -hmm. the survival of the fittest the survival uh -huh. of the strongest uh -huh. it's a ma Maslow right Maslow theory uh-huh yeah so basically the Mars aliens are not Maslow isn't it um uh, Charles Darwin. Oh, Charles Darwin. Sorry. So basically, maybe the aliens are not strong enough to survive the mass extinction. So we don't. But so maybe they used to exist. I mean, the, the, this is a dead body. I mean, they used to exist. <laughs> we have corpse here. We have corpse. Anyways, they they <laughs> used to exist, but they don't exist anymore after the mass filter. And and another theory that is related to mass filter is that maybe the aliens still exist now. But maybe the great filter will wipe out humans before humans actually develop a technology to, to discover the moment, aliens. Yeah. Because to be honest, guys, we don't even need to to understand the ideas of the great filter. Look at our temperature now; it's reaching fifty soon. The the UNDP and the UN come out about how we don't have global warming right now, but we're getting worse, more worse than global warming right now. Yeah. We expect to reach sixty degrees, sixty Celsius soon in in around fifteen or twenty years. Imagine. Oh my God! How right now it's like thirty six. Right now it's like thirty six. I'm dying. Imagine sixty and probably become a water. You know. So basically, that's basically like Melting. the prediction of great filter. Maybe nature. Maybe certain situation may happen that wipe the human humanity out. Mm -hmm. But I hope by then we can live. We can be able to live in Mars. 
I mean, not me, but my grandchildren. So, so do what Antonio said. Save the tree. So what do you think? To me, well, I come here to break your dreams. Yeah. Why is that's people sad. always trying to break my dreams? <laughs> like what? So here is the public lecture by Professor David Kipling. Mm -hmm. uh, the lecture is <laughs> why we might be alone. How does that that's sound? sad? That's sad. Exactly. That's sad. That's sad. But don't worry. So, <laughs> <laughs> but don't, don't worry. worry. We're just Literally alone. Literally, the type of person who says "Don't worry, be happy." Yeah. yeah. So, okay, what he have? Okay, what he has. So he 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 brings up Drake equation again, and he said that we don't know. Uh, so so he said that he he'll not confirm whether aliens is there or not because in a Drake equation, the most important value is FL. <clears throat> what is FL? FL represents <clears throat> the fraction of those planets on which life occurs. So, so now still do not understand. No one what, what is that? I I don't understand him as well. I I just come here to do, deliver the message, you know. So just basically that the whole equation there are like a lot of stuff. There right? are stuff. Oh, there's there's there, there, stuff. there there are seven elements plus together equals to n equal or something. To, uh, yeah, something equal yeah. to something. N, yeah. yeah. So the FL is really important, and no one right now really knows the value how of to actually mm. calculate it. So mm. he says that. <clears throat> Therefore, we never know whether there's another intelligent life outside of the Earth or not. Mm -hmm. And also, he said that, so, because there are so many scientists and scholars coming out in the TV show mm -hmm. and say that there's definitely something out there. Mm -hmm. He said that it, it is actually an invalid <coughs> argument. Mm. Because some people would say, it would be arrogant for us to assume that humankind is so special, mm -hmm. like like we're the only one. And he said that by saying that argument, it is emotional appeal. Because what if you disagree with him? Are you arrogant to say that? Are you arrogant to disagree with this argument? That we're actually special. <clears throat> so it is actually the emotional appeal. Mm -hmm. So. In, in scientific realms, it is invalid because we're supposed to argue with logic, fact, mm, and evidence, evidence right. and mm. not emotion, and not mm. the saying that we should be humble. We should think that we're not the only special one. But I don't want to break your dreams, you sisters. So the professor said that even though we don't have evidence, we are free to believe in aliens, you know? We have free will. Yeah, yeah we, have we free can will. believe in aliens, and right? believing in something with art and evidence is faith. Have faith in aliens. Have faith mm. in Antonio. And what is his name? Thomas? Thomas. Have faith in Thomas. So, but I personally think we are alone. And, and... Why? Nah. Why? You, why you, would, really think, you really think we're alone? No, yeah, imagine. why would that be a problem? Why? No, it's not a problem, but it's impossible. Look at the scale. Girl, look, we have we have at least million solar system operating in a galaxy. Yeah. We have million solar system, bro. And we have planets bigger than the sun, like 20 times bigger than the sun. It's called GX something, go check it out. You know, and, the, and there's uh, replicas of Earth as well, but in different solar system. So I'm pretty sure, I, I don't know, we don't have the technology to prove it yet, but I'm pretty sure that we, we're not alone. For me to think that there's like another intelligent life form other than planet Earth right now, I'm not convinced by that. But if you say there's another dimension, I, I would say yes. If there is another dimension. Yeah, Interesting. other dimension. So if we want to know if there's okay, another dimension, dimension or not, not, please check out our third episode, episode, which is going to be about parallel universe, multiverse, and doppelganger. Another cis nada. Another people. Cis people. And another, another cis ching ching. And possibly another Thomas and, and another okay. Antonio. Okay, if you guys, um, so just to recap what we said here, is that 
Well, we probably are alone in the universe, or not. Who knows? Or not. You, you have free will, yet. just like yeah. Atlantis. You have free will to decide have if it faith. exists or not. Exactly. Conspiracy is about being creative. It's about finding evidence. It's uh -huh. about having free will. Exactly. So, stay tuned to our next episodes and find out if we're actually like alone alone or we actually have a duplicate of ourselves. Bye, girlies!